Yes. Changing the world one red carpet dress at a time. I'm trying, Derek. <laughs> I'm trying. Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are here because it's the Met Ball. The Met Ball is probably the biggest night in fashion. Yes, and I'm here with Calvin putting together this, it's basically a masterpiece. I made a choice last year that I would only wear sustainable fashion on the red carpet. The fashion industry is the second biggest pollutant of fresh water on the planet. It has such a huge environmental impact, it has such a big human impact, and it's not just enough for me anymore that it's a beautiful item or it's a beautiful piece. I want to know that it's not leaving a negative mark. So the entire outfit is sustainable. Yes. So it's sort of fascinating to think that some of the water bottles I may have consumed or you yes. may have consumed will be marching up the red carpet at the Met Ball. Yeah, it's actually taking something which is a massive pollutant on our planet, which is plastic bottles, and it's actually finding a way to repurpose that. I tried to create a dress with my stylist which had lots of different elements which I would be able to reuse and re-wear. So our hope is that I will wear the trousers which are underneath the skirt again. I will wear the bustier again. The skirt, I will wear it again. For me, that's the future of fashion. That's what fashion can and should be doing, is, is innovating. How can the general public participate in sustainable fashion? Consumers really underestimate the power that they have. If you buy something, do you think you're gonna wear it 30 times? And if you can commit to that, then that's a sustainable purchase. Fashion is something that touches our lives every single day. We get dressed every single day. I want to look good, I want to feel good, I want to do good, and that for me is luxury. Trendsetter. <laughs> <laughs>